Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and I want to show you how to add snow and winterize your images with the free Cozy Click Snow Overlays and Photoshop Winter Actions. And if you don't have those yet, you can grab those at CozyClicks.com forward slash snow or just click the link below. But let me show you how to use these. Now first I've got two free winter Photoshop actions for you. These work best in Photoshop Creative Cloud. They won't work in Elements. Um, I'm going to run the frosty one right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm in button mode right now and I'm just going to click frosty and that's going to turn my image right now um, into a more wintry looking photo. Now that really cooled it down a little bit, a little too much for me on the face. So real easy, there's a layer mask already in place for you on that action. If you want to turn the opacity down, you can, or if you just want to take um, parts of that action off your image, you can with that layer mask. I'm going to grab a soft black brush and I'm going to turn the opacity down maybe to 50% because I don't want this action completely off of her, but I do want a little more warmness in her face than um, the action covered. So that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna cover just a little bit and you can see that in the corner. I took a little bit of the frosty action off, but it still left it very winterized in the back. And you can see there's with the action off and there it is on. It looks looks a lot cooler and um, a lot more wintry. But let's make it even more wintry. I'm going to add on the snow overlays. And you can do that using most um, Photoshop versions. I'm just going to go to File and Place Embedded. And I'm going to grab one or two or both of the snow overlays. And I'm just going to click that and hit Place. Now, from there, it's going to cover your image, and that's not what we want. So with that first um, snow overlay placed, you're going to change the blending mode from normal to screen, and that places snow all over your image. However, once again, I don't want it all over her face. This is more background snow. So I'm just going to click down here, and I'm going to create a layer mask, and I'm going to take a black brush. And I'm going to brush a little bit off of her face using a lower opacity and a little off her head. It doesn't need to be completely off because some of that snow can be falling on her. And then I'm going to increase my opacity of the brush up to 100 and brush more of it off of her face. Once again, if some of it is left, that's okay. Now, I like the look of that. Um, I could leave it just like that with some snow and the frosty overlay, but I think I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to go back to File, Place Embed, and this time I'm going to choose the Snow 2 overlay. So I'm going to click that and hit Place. Click there and once again change my blending mode to Screen. That gives a little bit more um, snow that's across the image, um, kind of giving more uh, uh, perception of depth here because now we have bigger snowflakes in the front. But just like before, I don't want these big snowflakes covering her face here and here. A couple are okay because we do want some covering her. And I'm going to create a layer mask. Once again, I'm going to get a black brush and I'm just going to brush some of those off because I don't want them completely covering her face. A couple are okay. I kind of like that like that. I think I'll keep that like that. And that's it. That's how easy you can winterize your image. So there is my image with the snow and the winter action. And there it is without. So that was really a big difference. I'm going to put those back on again to make it more winterized for you. And you can play with these um, as well. Like I said, just click the link below or go to cozyclicks.com forward slash snow. Thanks for watching.